Well, hey. I know I already did one video tonight, but go ahead and do a second one because I realized in that last video, granted it was 15 minutes because I'm going to try and keep the ones with just me in it short. Uh, never quite explained the name in it. Um, the Sad Kid Crew Podcast. Don't think that this is going to be about like depression, stuff like that. The name honestly just came from uh, just being sad, you know, not a full blown, like I don't want to do this anymore or anything like that, but just being sad. I mean, look at the times that we live in. It's, I think just about all of us can afford to just parcel out a little bit of sadness just for the year that we've had so far. Uh, it's not going to be mopey, dopey, whatever. Just doom and gloom and sadness and depression and just beat you down and put you down in the dump stuff. No, it's, it's just a name, realistically. Uh, it's been something that I've said for quite a while. Can't tell you where it came from. Don't know where it's going to go. But uh, that's what I'm working with right now. So, going to keep the name. Maybe it'll change later. Maybe it won't. I don't. I hope it doesn't because I kind of like it. The Sad Kid Crew. It uh, has a bit of a, a bit of a flow to it. Kind of just rolls off your tongue. And, um, eh, just because you're sad doesn't mean that you can't be happy. It's just that you're sad. That's all. It's, uh, it's not the end of the world. It's definitely not the end of progress or anything like that because you can definitely, even if you're sad, you can still work through the things that you've got going on in your life. You can just, you can be sad. It's okay. It's, it's, it's not the end if you're sad. Sadness is just a part of being a person and just going through life. I honestly think it's a pretty normal emotion. Uh, people don't like to call it for what it is. And I honestly think people jump to depression a little bit too quickly kind of thing. Um, not taking anything away from people who legitimately have depression, things like that. I mean, I've experienced depression. I've gone through depression. Um, fight with it all the time. It's not something that I don't, I, I don't think you'll ever quite get over depression. I think it's something that's always going to stay with you, with you forever. And uh, it's just become something that you learn to handle and learn to deal with and, and just not let it affect you or impact you in a negative way. So, but just being a sad kid, it's it's, it, it's not the end. You know what I mean? It's, if you're sad, you can always, you have the chance to move on from that. You can pretty much, only way is up at that point, in my mind. I could be wrong. Um, there's no professional opinion coming from this or anything like that. Uh, I haven't, I haven't been to therapy or really talk to anybody about this kind of stuff. Some of my friends know this opinion about how I, how I look at sadness and depression and stuff like that, but it's um, it's not rooted in anything really. It's just it's just how I view it. Um, as far as that goes, the people that may come on, they're not going to be sad all the time. Um, it's just like I said, it's just the name. This is not a doom and gloom podcast episode, short story, whatever it turns into kind of thing. It's, uh, it's just the name. That's, that's really all it is. Hopefully uh, I can get people to stop being sad or maybe come to grips with it and they learn that being sad is okay. It's a part of working through whatever emotions that you're, that you're currently experiencing. And it's just, it, it's normal human behavior. It's, 
It's okay. It's as simple as that. It's okay. The things that we experience are just, it's normal. I don't really know how else to explain it. I don't have anybody here to bounce ideas off of and get in depth with the conversation and things like that. So I'm just kind of trying to speak with whatever comes to mind and roll off of that kind of thing. Um, so I apologize if I get rambly. Don't know if that's a word, but it is now. Uh, you're more than welcome to use it. I just, it, it's hard to carry a conversation on with a webcam when it's just by yourself. Uh, probably means that I don't really have anything to talk about or I really haven't thought this through. But that's not exactly my strong suit. My strong suit is jumping in head first and working it out as, working it out as I go. Um, I honestly think that's where some of the best conversations come from. When there's not a whole lot, it's not that it's not pre-planned kind of thing, because you do a little bit of thinking before you get into an in-depth conversation. But I think kind of just what comes off the top of your head is probably one of the better conversations because you're just getting that unfiltered uh, feel from it. And you're not... I don't really know how to put it into words. It's not something that's like calculated or things like that. And you're not thinking of all of the like, oh, if I say this, is it, what's it going to do with these people? Or if I say this, how's it going to hit here? Or how's it going to land? And things like that. Nah, let's just, let's be able to talk about whatever comes to mind and go from there don't don't kill the messenger or absolutely crucify somebody about their opinion um, unless of course it's absolutely horrendous and it's pretty much just common sense of you should never say those things ever ever and if you do have thoughts like that you should probably talk to somebody about them that's um, I don't know, educated on how to discuss those thoughts and work through them and explain to you why they're wrong and how they're not okay. But, uh, yeah. It's, um, pretty much... I don't know what the hell my laptop's saying. It's saying some stupid nonsense to me about overloading or whatever. We'll find out what that means. Um, just in case uh, anybody's curious, I'm doing this on an old MacBook Air because uh, I'm poor and don't really have anything else to go off of. So I apologize if video quality and sound quality and things like that aren't up to snuff. But until, until this, I don't know, becomes a consistent thing or I can get better equipment and things like that, I'll, uh, this is pretty much what the videos are going to look like. And I apologize. Go ahead and advance. You can put all your comments, your negativity and all that stuff. I'm going to go ahead and let you know I'm not, not going to respond to negative comments. Not going to respond to, yeah, your shit sucks. Oh, uh, get this fucking kid off the screen, blah, 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 blah. Well, I mean, if it, sh if, if it sucks, don't watch it. If it doesn't suck, watch it. Leave me some positive feedback, and uh, we'll go from there. But that's pretty much the plan on the old uh, Sad Kid Crew podcast. Um, shout out to my friend Cavill. She, uh, she helped me. Really kind of hammer the point home on, hey, that's a good name for a podcast. Um, I'm going to try. I'm going to do my best to try and get her as the first person on opposite of me. Um, I feel like her and I have really good conversations. And like I said, she's pretty much the one who helped me come up with the name. 
and uh, well, not come up with it, but help me reinforce the fact that it's a it's a good name, and she'd probably be able to explain it better than I can with my rambling and like I said, I'm in the other last video. These videos have been recorded back to back, kind of thing. Um, I have been drinking, so. Yeah. Um, hopefully I can get her on as the first one. Be super cool. If not, I got, um, two other people. Two. Two other people. That, uh, are kind of the main Sad Kid Crew podcast, um, crew. And, uh, hopefully we can get them on. Truly and honestly, I'd love to be able to get all four of us on. Um, I'm just not sure because of schedules and things like that. And just this fucking COVID shit. It's just fucked up everything for the entire country. But, I mean, we're just going to do our best. I'm going to do my best. Um, please, please, please leave constructive criticism. Um, like I said, if you put something negative, I'm not going to. Not going to respond to it. Even if you put something positive, um, you might get a response. I'll do my best. But like I said, I'm a construction equipment mechanic. That's my, uh, that's my day job. This is, is kind of just a side thing for me. Um, and that's just because I love talking to people. So we'll go with that. I'm so sorry about the ands, the ums, the uhs, and the headphone killing noises, things like that, just, I'm, I'm going to try to do better, I know this is only the second video, and uh, I can't make any promises, but I'll uh, do better, so, appreciate it, Sad Kid Crew, um, on, uh, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff, Instagram's what -o tool. Twitter is what a tool, I think. I'm not 100% sure. I'm not good at social media, I'm not going to lie. Kind of new to it. Probably going to have to get somebody to help me with that. And, uh, ah, my Twitter is at O-Tool. O-H underscore tool. Um, YouTube, that's where my Twitch stuff is, is O-Tool. And, yeah. Going to do our best, y'all. And, uh, if you're at the end of the, you uh, have been a part of this, let's watch the whole video, everything like that. I appreciate you.